Welcome back to another eSkate report. In today's episode, we're going to talk about free skate. What is free skate, you ask? Well, let me read exactly what it is off their website. Free skate is an open source, comprehensive e-boarding and LEV system comprised of multiple devices that communicate with each other to provide critical system, sensor and fault data to the rider and other system components. Got that? This is a team comprised of a group of friends essentially that came together from the electric skateboard forums. Uh, engineers, skaters, just people who are passionate about this industry and want to make it better. So it says here, they are committed to the open source philosophy of sharing knowledge and technology. This means that they want the Freescape project to grow beyond just one team's effort and be a public asset that is available to all. So why does this matter? If we want to prosper, if we want the industry to grow, if we want better goddamn electric skateboards, we've all got to come together and work together and cooperate to build the future. No one else is gonna do it. 99% perspiration, 1% inspiration. 99% yeah. of it is get the work done. All that hype is, is that's not where the real work is. Yeah. The real work is in the details. I believe more in having passion. I think really caring about what you do is way more important than, than having this mental vision of this golden future that you want to reach. Open source is honestly something that I'm, I'm not an expert on, so I'm, I'm not gonna lecture you on this. As a matter of fact, most of what I've learned has come from these folks who are on these online forums. I've been heavily scrutinized over the years for being sloppy in this department and it's just because I was naive. I had no idea what it all meant. I didn't know how it can impact our future for the better. In, in some degrees, they they work for free. You know, they're developing these solutions, these innovative products, the technologies that everyone wants, right? They, they do it and they hand it over to people for free and they don't ask for anything. Like, that's the reality of it. Why would anyone do that? What I would suggest if you wanna learn more about open source, and there's plenty of resources on the internet, one of the most recent things that really inspired me about this open source ethos was a book. It's called Masters of Doom. It's about two guys, John Carmack and John Romero, created a company called ID Software, and they created some of the most iconic and famous games. Doom, Quake, Wolfenstein 3D. But one of the things that these guys were really passionate about was sharing the source code, the the engine, the graphics engine that they developed to allow them to render these really breathtaking, like technologically advanced games in your computer, on your computer screen. It was breakthrough stuff and they developed it and gave it away. That's one of the wonderful things about being able to open source the various codes after the games are a little bit older. That is very cool that you guys do that. That's yeah, that was one of those exciting. things where early on, as you can imagine, that was a tough sell in the company where the people that weren't coming from the sort of hacker ethic background on the programming side, you get the business people and the artists and the designers and they're like, we want to just give away our source code. Won't that be a leg up to the competitors? Now, don't get me wrong. These people, they've still got bills to pay, they've got families to support, they've got, you know, they want to eat food, they want to have some money. They're not like against making money. I think it's pretty important to make this clear, at least this is my interpretation of it. They share their knowledge because it's better for the world, okay? It's better for everyone. A rising tide lifts all boats. So I'd just like to drill in a little bit further about what Free Skate is doing. They've got their own forum and their own online community now. You can go and join up and be a part of it. They've also got a Patreon account which you can go and donate money to them. I'm for one definitely gonna support that. I want to help them out. I believe in their vision for the future 
And it's so important that this message gets through to people. If you're a young entrepreneur and you love electric skateboarding and you want to maybe have your own business one day, support the people who are developers who are making stuff open source. And I mean, to give you a little bit of snapshot about how I started business and, and getting involved in this, there was a guy called Benjamin Vetter. He made this open source project called VESC. And this is going back like 2013 and 14. And he provided the source files. He's like, here it is guys, I've made it. Do what you want with it, essentially. Now, I, I was so naive back then. I had no idea what I was doing. I didn't understand open source, but I wanted what he developed. I wanted it to be a product. And the, the thing that I didn't understand is like, why isn't anyone making it? Like, why, why isn't it here? Why isn't it a product? Now, the key point I wanna make here is that there's more to product development than just developing the source code, developing and refining that. That's like the seed, if you like, of a potential tree, a product tree that can grow and evolve. The seed gets planted and it's shared with anyone who wants to pick it up and run with it. And when it came to the VESC, my company Inertion, that's what we did. We just thought, no one else is making this thing. I want it, everyone else wants it. Let's just take the files and produce it. We were one of the first to make it available as a product. And I mean, we ended up going through, I think it was five or six different manufacturing places in four different countries to get the thing right. I mean, fortunately now it's the, the it's called, we call it the Fox box now, but it's a product that is stable and is being produced with high quality and high reliability. But it takes ages to get there. And that's just the manufacturing and supply chain side of things. Before you get there, there's a huge piece of the puzzle that needs to be solved. And that's the development side. And that's what these guys are working on. And, you know, they're obviously, they have experience in manufacturing and, and, and you can go onto their website and you can buy the stuff as well. But that's not the point. The, the point is they're developing the foundations of products to solve all the technical problems, to create a stable platform for the industry to be built upon. And that's super important. And that's why I support this movement because I've always been about the industry and pushing it forward. I'm passionate about that. I've always wanted to make this industry grow and to educate people and make better products and manufacture them and hopefully deliver them to people so we can all make better electric skateboards. That's what it's about at the end of the day. Better technology, better electric skateboards. If you wanna make a difference in this industry, it's not good enough that you're quick-witted and can make friends on the internet by telling funny jokes. That's not enough. We need the risk takers and the innovators to step up, put it all on the line and make stuff, <laughs> make it happen. That's the important thing. Innovate or vacate. I can tell you firsthand, starting up your own company or trying to bring a product to market, it's crazy, it's scary, it's risky. You're putting your money on the line, your reputation on the line, the hardest thing ever. But it's so critical if we want to keep progressing. Otherwise, we just become stagnant and end up bitching and moaning about stupid stuff on the internet that doesn't matter. It's all about innovation and bringing products to market so the consumer can benefit. That's the key. Anyway, that's my rant for today. Be sure to go and check out their website. They've got a new forum up and running. It's just forum.freeskate.org. They're doing some great stuff. Look them up on Patreon, throw them a few bucks, support these guys. 
I wanna give a shout out to all the people in this industry who actually are out there making products, developing products, and delivering stuff to people. You guys are the real heroes. Step up, innovate, or vacate. Peace.